Hello and welcome to Outdoors for Adventure. I am Tim and if you haven't subscribed to the channel be sure to click that button real quick. We are preparing the Jeep Grand Cherokee for a couple of overland adventures. One of them we are going to rerun the Arkansas overland route and focus on the sites and attractions that you get to see along the route. So stay tuned for that and I bought this Grand Cherokee Trailhawk used and I do know they changed the oil before I got it but I was unsure about any of the other fluids this has uh, 66,000 miles on it now it is a 21 year model so it does have some pretty high mileage on it so I'm going to change the rear diff fluid this does have a limited slip in it so I have to use a particular uh, fluid for it and the transfer case fluid is going to be changed along with the front differential fluid and we should be good to go so I'm going to show you all a little bit on the process and this isn't a how-to video I'm just the main thing is I'm going to show you where the plugs to everything is and uh, we'll go from there so stay tuned and uh, I hope you enjoy the video and some of the information might help you out hey guys you're gonna okay guys you're gonna need a pump to get that fluid in your transfer case uh, it's really tight where the fill plug is so that pump is a lifesaver so don't even attempt to to change it without picking up one of those pumps i got that one at autozone it's like 13 bucks you can get them off amazon cheaper uh and as you can see that that's an empty quart that i put a hole in the side of it that's just how i store it because when you get done you, it still has stuff that drips out of it and that just catches it and i just store it that way but anyway pick one of them up that's going to save you a lot of time and energy today we're going to change the rear diff fluid in this 21 jeep grand cherokee trailhawk and the first thing i did is put it in off-road two to get it up off the ground unfortunately i don't have a shop with a lift or even a shop or with a concrete floor for that matter so everything i do has to be done on the ground so the drain plug and fill plug on this differential is supposed to be an 8 millimeter. So I picked up an 8 millimeter and we're going to climb underneath there and see if it fits. Okay, so the 8 millimeter Allen wrench fits up in there. That is your drain plug and your fill plug. It's going to be back over here above the exhaust right there. And we're going to loosen that one first because if for some reason we can't get that out and we take the bottom one out first and drain our fluid, we won't be able to go anywhere. So always take your fill plug out first. So I'm going to stick the Allen wrench up in there. It's going to take two hands for me to do it and then I'll get back with you. Luckily, whoever changed this last didn't over tighten it. It came out really easy, and I'm going to finish uninstalling it. Okay, so I got that one out. Now we're going to move to the front, or the, I should say the rear, and we're going to loosen this drain plug. I figured it'd be a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to need two hands. Seem to be a little bit tighter than the other one, but it come loose pretty easy. So we're gonna go ahead and completely remove that. And I'm gonna put the camber down so I don't drop my plug. I don't think you ever had this Jeep before me ch ever change it. That looks pretty dark to me. So we're gonna let that finish dripping and then we're gonna put fresh in it. And it's just a reverse of what I just did.
This is the trailhawk version. So on this rear diff, it has the limited slip in it, and we need to be sure that we have the additive, the limited slip or friction uh, inhibitor in our fluid. And the fluid I got does have it already in it. And uh, if you get the Mopar, it will you can get it with it already in it or you can actually buy the Mopar friction inhibitor in a small bottle and it is a 75W 85 and I do know a lot of people use the 75W 90 and uh, it'll work just fine but as long as everything uh, meets the requirements that Mopar recommends then it'll be fine as you can see, I have the drain plug back in. And then I use the stuff I get comes in squirt bottles. So you can squeeze it and you just lay it across the top of the pipe right there, stick it in the fill hole and squeeze and you fill it until it comes out. I may have, may have went a little bit overboard because you can see it's still draining out. But you just fill it until you see it running out. I'm going to let that just come to a slow drip. And then I'll put that plug back in. And uh, this is done. It's easy enough. There's really no excuse not to do it. And uh, like I said, this has 60 some thousand miles on it. And I, from the way that looked, I don't think that they ever changed it. Because I've only put two, three thousand miles on it since I've had it. But I figured it was time to check it. I'm also going to check the front diff and the transfer case. But that's how you do the rear. And I hope I showed you enough to, to show that you could do it. Alright, we got the fuel plug back in. I wiped everything up, cleaned it up some. Okay, so on the transfer case, to get to it, we're going to drop this pan. We're going to loosen this bolt. And this bolt, as you can see, there's a slot. So we'll remove this one, and then there's two on the other end over there. And then we'll just drop that in and then slide it off. To get to the transfer case okay there is the skid plate down i'll actually drag it out clean it up notice some rocks on there may have been making a little bit of noise i don't know but as i showed you earlier there's the two bolts that this slides on looks like it's supposed to be three no just two possibly three i see a spot for a third one no, there's no hole in there. So just two. And then, uh... Now we can see the transfer case right there. And you see the drain plug is right there. And... I'm gonna have to get this out of here so I can get closer to see where the fill is. And this just takes ATF4 fluid. Okay, you can... See the fill plug up there it's pretty tight and then of course the drain is right there and you see there's some paint on them so once you put those plugs back in you ought to pretty much be able to line up that paint and they be where they need to be but i'm going to remove the top one first that way if i run into a problem i still have fluid in my case and then i'll move the bottom one drain put the bottom in Feel, and then put the top back in. Okay, so it's dripping now. And the transfer case fluid, as you can see by the drip, it looks pretty good. It wasn't all that dirty. So, and when I took the top plug out, I did have just a little bit run out. So it wasn't leaking. It was completely full. So that's a good thing. And now that I got that get plate off I can look around see what's going on up here make sure everything's in good shape clean it up some uh, but 
let that drip just a little bit more and then I'm gonna put the plug in the bottom and I've got a long extension hose hopefully I can work that in that top fill plug and get the ball high enough to fill it if not I'm gonna have to get a pump I think I can do it with that long extension hose and uh, put that plug in and it's done well I have to put the skid plate back up and you had to drop the front skid plate up there to change the front differential maybe I'll get to it today I don't I'm not sure but I'm definitely getting the I got the rear done and I'll have this transfer case done now on the transmission if you're gonna change that you have to drop the pan you have to buy a brand new pan it's a kind of all-in-one unit and uh, a little bit more to that some people try to say that that's lifetime fluid I don't know about that I do have a good warranty on this but uh, I will talk to my service manager see what he says uh, I would think you'd want to change it out I don't believe in lifetime fluid but I'll talk to the service manager and see what's going on as you can see I've got the skid plate back over the transfer case and I end up having to do that in the rain uh, but it is complete the fluids changed you know I showed y'all where the drain plug and the fill plug is I just didn't show y'all mounting that plate back up it wasn't hard at all and uh, it was just three four five bolts and uh, I did use a little bit of Loctite when I put the bolts back in so hopefully that thing won't bounce loose going down the rough ropes on the front we will have to drop the pan or the skid plate and basically it's gonna be the same as the rear you got a fill plug a drain plug and uh you know not gonna be hard to do at all uh i'm not sure i'll get that on video uh i don't know how much time i'm gonna have but like i said it's easy and it's basically the same as the rear Stadium pack, born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack. Baby, I'm back.